Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of our uh, roster editing series, part eight. Um, so, I was going through some stuff in my system, and I realized that Cole Caulfield, for whatever reason, is not in the game. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. I could not tell you why, but he just ain't in the game, and there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. <laughs> um, other than create him. I'm going to create him, obviously. So I've already taken note on Florida, Spencer Knight. Taking note, Montreal, Cold Caulfield. So at the end, once I'm done editing all the teams, what we'll do is we'll keep a note of players that are maybe missing or that need to be added, and we'll just add them ourselves, and it's not the end of the world, right? So if there's any anybody has any comments about missing players or or players that are, are misrated severely in the minors, like rookies and stuff, be sure to let me know, and I'll definitely take a look at them. But for now, we're going to continue with our editing. Um, I do want to make sure that I'm using the right microphone. Perfect, so you can hear me. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's keep it going. So looking at Nashville, Smashville, Nashville. <laughs> they have an interesting team, that's for sure. Roman Yossi is a great player. 33 points, a minus 11. I'm going to leave him as a 90. Philip Forsberg, a 0.82 point per game pace. Let me get that calculator out here. I'm going to try to be as objective as possible with Nashville. That's a 67 point pace. It's about an 86 overall. So he's pretty he's pretty spot on there. I don't think Nashville's too overrated by this game. Um, I will make him a power forward, I think. I just don't see him being a two-way. I just don't see this kid, this guy being a two-way. It just doesn't. This is not his play style. It doesn't seem like he's a minus. I mean, the playoffs did it okay, but yeah. Ryan Ellis, I think he's a good defenseman. I'm going to leave him at 86. Matthias Ekholm, yeah, that's really good, actually. He's a plus 19. Mikhail Granlund is an interesting one. He had a .53 pace. That's on pace for a 44-point season. So he's he has a good overall. Ryan Johansson, 22 points, a .46. That's a 38-point pace. It's about an 82 overall. He's about an 83. Victor Arvidsson, uh, 0.5 pace. That's a 41-point season. Also an 82. All he's about an 83. Uh, Matt Duchesne. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Wait. How bad of a year did he have? Okay, I'm gonna leave him as is. I don't know what to edit with Nashville, man. I, <laughs> they had a lot of underperforming players. Um, Dante Fabro, I think that's fair. Eric Howla. Like, I'm gonna leave these Like, they're all mid 80s players, right? There's no one who's severely underrated, I don't think. Maybe Trennan. How did Yakov Trennan do? He did okay. I'm gonna boost him like a 78. He did pretty good. He did pretty good for himself this year. I'll boost him a little bit. I'll boost him so he's an NHL player. <laughs> Because I, I saw him in the playoffs. He seemed like he played pretty well. He handled himself quite nicely. Um, depth player, obviously. But he seemed like he handled himself pretty well. Okay, not that well. I think... Uh, I think a 78 is perfect for Yakov Trenin. You know what I mean? A fringe NHLer. It's pretty good. He'll, he'll grow into a, a good bottom six player. Rem Pitlick, I have no idea how he played. He barely played, but he's someone I've never heard of before. So that's kind of cool. Fun little fun little player there. Eric Branson's on this team. Oof, he didn't play. I guess everyone else is good. I mean, Carrier, I'm going to upgrade to a low six. Because he did play some time in the NHL. He's a, he's a very fringe player, but uh, I'll put him at a low six. Maybe he'll have a chance to make it to a third-pairing defenseman in his career. Because it is possible. At a low seventh, he'd never make it. Same with Mathieu Olivier. I'm going to give him... or Is it Mathieu? Yeah, Mathieu Olivier. I'll give him a, a low nine. Give him a chance to make the NHL eventually in his career. Because he did play 30 games this year, so maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll grow. Uh, Jeremy Davies. Did he play? He did. Didn't do much, but uh, <laughs> maybe I'll make him a high seventh. I'll like, boost some little potentials here because I did play. Um, but there's nothing really that needs to be edited with Nashville. There's nothing. 
Not to be too disappointed with. I think I'm going to edit Saros and make him better. Because this guy... I mean, man, I don't know about the regular season. I don't know how he did in the regular season. But, oh my god, in the playoffs? My man's was playing well. Uh, Nashville, Nashville. He had a 921 in the playoffs. A 927 all year. 36 games played. He looked darn good, if you ask me. Make him a high starter. Yeah, high starter. He's pretty consistent. I'll give him a... Some good poise. You're not that high. Poise is a little high. I'm going to give him an 86, if I can get him there. Holy cow. Usually goalies level up so fast. Huh? There we go. 86 overall. UC Soros. Good for him. Good for Casimir Kaskiswo. Saved every single shot he faced. Oh, he only faced three shots. So, doesn't really count. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. New Jersey. Uh, wait, no. We already did New Jersey. What am I saying? Uh, Islanders. There we go. Islanders, New York Islanders. Let's see how uh, how their goalies did. So 929 for Simon Valarmov, Varlamov. So I think an 86 is fair. I might make him an 87 because a 929. That's pretty darn impressive if you ask me. He only played 36 games. Well, not not only. It's a lot because it was a shortened season, but he played pretty well for him. He did pretty well for himself. Him an 87. Nice little upgrade there. He had a great year. Now he does play on a very defensive team. Uh, Ilya Sorokin, um, 918 in the season, in the playoffs, a 943. This kid clutched up big time. I'm going to give him at least an 84. Consistency. He, he's pretty consistent. Where's his poise? This kid clutched up big time. Hey, what's up, Warrior? How's it going, man? What's up? We're, uh, we're doing some upgrades again today. Ilya Sorokin earned himself a nice upgrade. So did uh, so did Varlamov, though. Maybe I'll downgrade his poise, though, because he had a 9.03 in the playoffs. <laughs> but uh, that's what we're doing so far. I'll show you Nashville, because I don't think you were here for the Nashville changes. I didn't really change much in Nashville. But um, Goid, nice. <laughs> uh, I didn't really change much in Nashville. I'll show you Nashville real quick. 86 for Saros. 83, I left Rene as is. And their skaters, I didn't really change much. Forsberger made a power forward, but everyone else, it's pretty much the same. I didn't really change much. I changed some slight potentials at the bottom here. Like I make, uh, I made Trennan a bit better. He's a 78 now. I made, uh, I gave this guy some better potential. And then, like, I made Olivier. Like, I gave Olivier, Carrier, and Davies, like, slightly better potential. And that's about it. Because they did play this year, so, like, they're fringe players. So, I gave them the chance to grow. Just a slight chance. So, there you go. Upgrade for the goalies in the island. In the Long Island. And then, let's upgrade the skaters. Let's see, uh, let's see who, let's see who deserves what. So, I'm not going to base it too much off the playoffs. Although, Bovillia does have a great playoff so far. But, Matt Barzell was their leading point scorer. I think 88 is quite fair. Uh, Nick Letty, 31 points. That's quite fair for an 85 overall. He was a minus. Um, how many power points? He had a lot of power play points too. He had 11. I'm going to put him as an offensive defenseman. I think I'm going to put Letty as an offensive defenseman. Is that fair? Am I, being, am I being a little cringe? He did have 31 points. So that's pretty impressive. He was a minus 3 though. So it doesn't really show that he's as defensively responsible as a lot of the other guys on on a very defensive team. Brock Nelson, 33 points in 56 games, a .59 pace. Oof, that's a 48-point season right there, basically 49. All right, so he, he earned his overall. Pulak, Ryan Pulak, yeah, he, he, uh, he earned his overall. Jordan Eberle earned his overall too. Uh, Pelic, I think, earned his overall. Anders Lee, he was injured a lot, eh? Yeah, he was on a good pace, though. I might upgrade Anders Lee. He's on a 57-point pace. I'm going to upgrade him a little bit. Maybe his shot. Maybe his power. He's got a good shot. I'll upgrade his strength a little bit. His balance. 
Yeah, okay, it's body checking. About, that's about it. 85 overall for Anders Lee is quite fair. There's a very solid team overall. I don't know how I can show that in EA Sports, but Josh Bailey, great season for him. A .65 pace. Let's see what that puts him at. 53 point season. That's a nice little upgrade for Josh Bailey. It's just a slight upgrade. Let's upgrade his uh, offensive category slightly. There we go, Josh Bailey. Congratulations. But they're just a very defensive team. I don't know how I could do <laughs> make that edit. Um, Noah Dobson earned his overall. Casey Zekis is fine. Paul Mary is fine. Yeah, Paul Mary's fine. Pajot. Ooh, Pajot's interesting. 0.52 pace. I might upgrade him slightly. Same with Beauvillier. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade Beauvillier for sure. Jeez, they hate Anthony Beauvillier in this game. They really hate Anthony Beauvillier in this game. Holy crap. How are his face-offs? Oh, they were terrible. But they really hate Anthony Beauvillier in this game. I don't know what it is, but... And I'm going to make him a sniper. He puts the puck in the back of the net, especially in the playoffs. So, there you go, Anthony Beauvillier. Uh, Jean-Gabriel Pajot, I'm going to upgrade as well. He earned it. He honestly did. He, he's, he plays a great two-way game. Although they have him as a power forward in this game. I mean, a playmaker in this game, but... Um, I'm going to upgrade his offensive stats a little bit. How are his face-offs? Jean-Gabriel Pajot. Ooh, very good. Uh, durability. He didn't get injured, I don't think. No, he only missed two games. There you go. Jean-Gabriel Pajot up to an 85. Let me make sure his potential's fair. He can't grow anymore, so high top six is fine. Like, he's, he's, not, he's not old. He's too old now. He's past, he's past 26, so it'll just show up his exact potential. Um, Casey Zekis is fine. Coburn, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Where is Wallstrom? That, my friends, is too low. He had a .48 pace. 82 games. 40 point season. That's about an 81. 81 overall. I think he, I think he earned it. He's definitely, have, he, he's known for his shot, too. Pretty sure he's known. Yeah, he's 12 goals on the season. He's a power play specialist, pretty much. Um, poise, he's doing well in the playoffs. Let's upgrade that hand eye. Offensive awareness upgrade. Defensive awareness will leave down. Whoops, not yeah. There we go. That's good. Might be a little high, but he's having a good playoff. I'm just trying to make it so the Islanders are good in this game for once. Like they always play so bad, and I want them to. I want them to perform the way they're performing in the playoffs. If that makes sense. Although they're not doing that, they got outplayed pretty hard, but they they play a very defensive game and they won, so that's that. Um, so I think that's fair for the Islanders. Is, do you have, is there any suggestions you have, uh, have Warrior? I think you're, if you're still here, you got any suggestions for uh, upgrades? I'll give you a chance to answer. Well, look at some stats. Uh, any suggestions for uh, for uh, upgrades for the Islanders? Because I think I I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it pretty head on there. Or hit the nail hit the nail right on the head. There we go. I found the quote I was looking for. I upgraded Pajot. I upgraded uh, Bailey a little bit. I upgraded uh, Lee. I upgraded Beauvillier. I upgraded their goaltending, so I think they're good to go. Uh, Rangers. I think the Rangers I already edited. Yeah, I did. Ottawa. Ooh, baby. I already edited Ottawa as well. Philly already edited. Pittsburgh has not been done yet, I don't think. I'm trying to think to myself. Did I edit Pittsburgh already? I did. I already edited Pittsburgh. I think I'm going crazy. Why did I already edit Pittsburgh, but I didn't edit? What the heck is going on? <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. On this episode, Michael loses his mind. Yeah, and I already lost another viewer. That's fine. Uh, Evander Keen, I already added you guys. St. Louis. 
I already edited you guys. Toronto, already did. Yeah, I definitely already edited Toronto. Medium nine? What the heck? Poor Zach Hyman. Jeez. Jeez, poor Zach Hyman. They're, they ain't giving him any benefit here. My goodness. Got a chance to list as a medium elite, so there's that. Um, pretty sure I nailed it in Toronto. Yeah, I definitely already upgraded them. Oh yeah, definitely already upgraded them. All right, and then Vancouver already done. Vegas, pretty sure I already did Vegas as well. Definitely, oh man, I loved Flurry last episode. Uh, I already did Washington as well. And Winnipeg, I guess we're done. Did I miss any teams? I don't think I missed any teams, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think I nailed it. I think we did pretty well. So let's create. Let's create Cole Caulfield. Let's create uh, Cole Caulfield. Mm -hmm. So let's create him because for some reason he got deleted from my system or from my game. Don't know why, but he did. So I have everything I need to know about him. So create player. I have everything I need to know. The only thing I can't do is make him look like himself, which sucks. But what are you gonna do about it, right? So let's create Cole Caulfield. Let's make him. Uh, let's make him good. Uh, so he's. I'd say medium elite. He's got the potential there. Man, I have to come up with all the stats from scratch. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. Um, 88. 88. It's gonna be tricky. I'll, I'll see what I make his overall. <laughs> I don't know what his overall is gonna be, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. We'll see what I make him. I don't know. I'm I'm worried I'm gonna make him too overpowered or too weak. Either way, I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is weird making it from scratch. All right, balance. He's pretty short. He's, he probably has good balance. Never really seen him get injured, so I don't know yet. 88. Knock on wood, he doesn't get injured next game. <laughs> Aggressiveness. Uh, I don't really know. Poise, he's playing pretty well. He scored some big moments. So I'll put him in 83 for now. Hand eye is pretty good. Shot blocking, uh, I guess like an 82. Offense awareness is quite good there. I have never seen him take a penalty, so there's that. Is 83 overall too high for Cole Caulfield? I think 82 is perfect. I think 82 overall is perfect. Joe NHL, wow, nice name. <laughs> uh, Cole Caulfield. It's gonna be very short. Let's see if they have it in the game. I don't think that they're gonna have his name in the game. There's no way. There's no way they have it in the game. Okay, how far down do I have to go to find his name? Nope. Alright, well. Uh let's go by Cole then. <laughs> Cole, where's Cole at? My goodness gracious. Cole. There we go. We're, he's going to be called Cole. Sniper, obviously. Uh, right wing, left wing. Preferred jersey number. I don't... Oh, yeah, 22. Pro team, Montreal. Drafted by Montreal. You're drafted... I think it was 2019? 20? 2020. I'm not sure. Whoa. Way too much money. I don't know how much he's actually making, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to give him uh, the max. Pretty sure it's 925. Two-way deal for three years. Um, shoots right-handed. Height, 5'7". Very short. 
100, oh my god. As, no one, as long as no one hits him too hard, he should be fine. Never. Birth year. Uh, 2001. January 2nd. Interesting birth date. Birthplace, Mossany, Wisconsin. I don't know if they're going to have Mossany in this game. Mosany? Mosany? Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's go Wisconsin. Okay, they don't have Wisconsin. Okay, there you go. I was going to say, if they don't have Wisconsin in the game, I'd be shocked. Uh, so, Wisconsin. Okay, Wisconsin's not in Canada, EA Sports. You should change that automatically for me. USA. There you go. There's Cole Caulfield right there. Doesn't look anything like the kid, but... Uh, I'm, at least make me hit lip. Oh my gosh. At least let me make his hair color somewhat accurate. That looks pretty good. Hairstyle, though. That doesn't look like it at all. It's got a tiny flow, but like... there, It's there. There's a little flow there. Definitely not that. <laughs> this one? Oh! Uh... No, it's way too sh Well, actually, that's pretty close. No, I think the one I have is is good. And then, uh, that's actually pretty nailed right on. I didn't make his, uh, his eyebrow color the right color. I made it brown. He's good to go. Beard. None. That's fine. He's a kid. So there you go. That's cool. Caulfield. It's not gonna look anything like him, but uh, yeah, save 82 overall. Cole Cough, though, I think that's quite fair. Unassigned, well, Montreal, enjoy your new prospect. If there's two Cole Coughs in this game, I'm gonna lose my mind if I create him for no reason. All right, let's create uh, Spencer Knight. Let me find Spencer Knight on uh, hockey, uh, whatever, whatever you call it, Spencer. Angel.com, you're letting me down. Spencer Knight, there we go. Okay, let's do his attributes first. So, <clears throat> how's he doing so far? It's pretty good. I think high starter is quite accurate. Alright, let's do... Uh, I don't know, like what, like 80, 83 overall, 84? 84, is that, is that fair? <laughs> I don't want to make him too broken, right off the bat. I don't want to make him too broken right off the bat, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be too cheese, I don't want to cheese the system. Poise, I'm gonna give him good poise though, don't worry. There we go, 90 poise. This kid's gonna be good. Jeez, this kid's good. That's 84 right there. 85, that's perfect. Spencer Knight, congrats. Chill NHL, Jesus. Get him out of here. Spencer Knight. If he's already in the game, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. I probably should have checked this first, but I can always just delete him. And I'm already kind of making progress on the making him, so might as well go all the way. There should be someone with Knight in here. I'd be shocked if they didn't have Knight. There we go. Knight. Knights. Interesting. Uh, plural. Uh, yeah, he's going to be a hybrid. Preferred jersey number 30. Pro team is going to be Florida. Florida. You're drafted uh, 2019. Let's just give him like an 800, whatever, 925K. There should be a keyboard here. I don't know why there isn't. Two-way, three-year. 
Uh, Handedness left. Catch is left. Yeah, okay, good. Goalie stance, making like... I really don't know. Let's just give him that. <laughs> uh, six foot three, 192 pounds. Goalie's got to be a bit lighter. Goalie's definitely got to be a bit lighter. Birth year, 2001. April, April, ooh, April birth date, 19th. Okay. From Darien, is that Connecticut? CT, is that Connecticut? <coughs> Excuse me. So Darien's obviously not in the game, but uh, I think it's Connecticut. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure Connecticut is CT. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. Easily could be wrong. I'm not very good with the United States geography. Um, obviously not Canada. We know that. USA. Why are you teaming to the top of the list every time EA Sports? You're driving me crazy. Uh, keep colors on traded? No. Alright, appearance. He can just stay as is. I'm too lazy. Although, let me at least give him the scraggly hair that he has. <laughs> the wavy... Not scraggly, but the wavy hair that he has. Um... a little too long. Maybe this one? That's kind of accurate. To the picture I see on NHL.com, that's pretty accurate about this one. Yes! We did it, and now he's brown hair as well. He like dark brown. According to NHL.com, that's about what he looks like. At least in terms of like hair color and stuff, not uh... Not actual looks, but there you go. Him and Cole Caulfield are going to look the exact same, but uh, Spencer Knight, there you go. <laughs> He's been created as well. Um, let's assign him to Florida. There we go. Congratulations, Florida. Um, let me just check his stats from all types to make sure he wasn't already in the game. He played in Boston College. Yeah, he wouldn't already be in the game. All right, perfect. So, where does that leave us? That leaves us at being done. Uh, I don't want to leave you guys waiting around while I look up prospects. I think that would be pretty boring for you. Um, so, I'm going to end that episode right there. I know it was a, a quick one, but I'm pretty sure we're done the teams, if I'm not mistaken. If, I mean, if anyone notices that we didn't finish a certain team, let me know, please, because I'm pretty darn sure we finished all the teams uh and go through them quickly here yeah they're done definitely done i know i did all these front teams here oh yeah i wanted to make kane a playmaker because this dude almost had an assist per game like he makes his team so much better it's crazy so playmaker for kane but uh there you go let's do that Nathan McKinnon, Landeskog, yeah, 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 they're all good, they're all good, all good. I'm just making sure I edited all the teams. I don't want to let anyone down here and have forgotten someone because that would be very disappointing. Uh, yeah, we edited these guys. I edited them just today. There, yeah, they're done, they're done, done, done. I think we did all the teams, guys. I think we really did it. We did it. Wow. Good job. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the series of fixing EA rosters. Unless anyone has any prospects that I'm messing up or forgetting or anything, let me know. Please do let me know. After we've done a series, let me know if I'm missing anybody. And, uh... I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. For those of you on Twitch, stick around. But for those on YouTube, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.